Well, hello there. My name is Jay with Server Matter and with CompuMatter. And the purpose of this video is to talk about one way, there may be others, of getting static IPs to multiple virtual machines within the Proxmox world. Now, uh, we're talking about static IPs from the outside world so that you can use them for web servers or mail servers or whatever, development servers, whatever you have in mind but all within your Proxmox environment. Um, and these servers um, would then have the potential to host various domain names on their own. You know, naturally you can have a single server that hosts multiple websites, but there are times when you need multiple servers to host multiple websites for whatever reason. And um, I'm not really a network guru, you know, there's, there's all kinds of areas of expertise. There's the programming, there's the hardware, there's the, all the different software programs and uh, all the different server administration aspects. And then you get the outside networking and the routers and everything that goes with it. Um, I'm getting better all the time, but still, occasionally, that one just uh, hits me like a ton of bricks and I'm like, how the hell do I work my way through this? Anyway, this is uh, what ended up being the case. I started configuring the router uh, with a static IP to my first server. And then when I get to the second server, I said, well, geez, I can't use 443 and 80. I guess I'll use 4431 and 801. And, and I configured those in the router to the other machine, then went to the other machine, tried to configure Nginx using those ports. But of course, it required you to append the port at the end of the domain names, which wasn't going to be a workable solution. So a little scratch of the head uh, and eventually realized I need to cut out the router completely and literally just take the cable from the ISP to the Proxmox server, to that environment, and then make sure I turn the firewalls off in Proxmox. Let's talk about that a little bit. All right, so in the... Uh, I think it's the data center. Yeah, data center, you see you have a firewall. That's a firewall to all machines. Um, so I've got that one. It's completely turned off in this case. Um, and I've got a firewall on individual machines. Uh, this development machine, for instance, that firewall has got to be turned off. And then you configure your firewall inside the virtual machine itself. Now, I guess alternatively, you could configure the whole firewall right there and not configure a firewall inside your virtual machine. So there's a couple of different ways that you can do that. So I imagine your port forwarding, I haven't done it in Proxmox, and, and anything you would do with a router can be done right here. So that's it. Now let's just take a look at the inside. Uh, okay, um, et cetera. Net, now in my case, I'm using NetPlan. This may be different depending on what you're using. So this setup was literally identical to what it was when I was using a conventional router. So the address, I'm using my static IP, but you notice at the end I've got 2.9. That's one of the differences with the static, uh, with, the, with the regular router and the internal, the typical router internal network that it's serving, that's going to end in 2.4 um, because the subnet mask is typically going to be 255, 255, 255, 0, which results in your slash 24, um, whereas in the case of 255, 255, 2480, that's going to end in 29. Uh, the route is going to be the gateway IP as your intended service provided you for your static, um, and then the name service can be anything you want it to be, in my case, 888, 8844. And on the vhost itself, on the virtual host file for the domain, just to kind of give you a peek, nothing, absolutely nothing different there uh, than it would ordinarily be. 8443 in the paths to your website and so on and so on. And that's it. I hope uh, this will be of value to you as I know it will be uh, for my future self. And this will allow you to host multiple servers with disparate purposes. You may have you may be hosting servers for clients uh, on your uh, Proxmox box, and, uh, and they need to be completely separate from each other. 
this is one of the ways you could manage that. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.